Okay, so we get a lot of questions normally about when is the right time to put on a flow super. So we're about to do that now. We're just making sure that this colony is strong enough to do it. Rule of thumb is if you've got eight frames that are drawn out and they're busy on nine and ten, then you're good to go. So yeah, we can see um, that I don't want to take it out too much, but we'll just lift it enough to have a peak. These were brand new frames with full wax sheets on, so we can see they have started drawing out, let's say one, and then should be the same on 10. There should be some nice amount of brood and everything on as well, if we look at some of these next door ones. So we just, yeah, there we can see some nice brood that's sticking out, so that's good to go. We'll just quickly put that nicely back into place. And if we look carefully in over there, then yeah, I can see it's just difficult on the camera. You can see that I have started drawing out that last one. So we've got eight frames fully drawn out and the, the last ones they're busy with. So this is a good candidate. Um, we'll get the queen excluder back on and then we're going to get the, the flow super on now. Gave them a little bit of of smoke just to to get the bees a little bit lower down so that just helps to to get everything back in place okay so i've got the super in place so what i do is i make sure before so i put the super in place without um, this back plate on so that you can make sure that the frames are nicely seating over here all the way across because otherwise you're going to get a nasty surprise one day when you do a quick inspection and they're not in place and you pull the back cover out and there's bees all over the place next thing is you'll see that your top sieve on the bottom side on one side it has got this strip over here that is to close the gap in between over here so that when you take that plate away and you're going to use your key that you don't have any bees that surprise you over there so make sure that this strip faces the back side over here and closes that gap over there so when you look through then the strip is covering over there and you're safe they'll start closing that up now in any case okay so this hive is going to be on the road we're going to go and deliver it at clients over the weekend so you'll see that we put a screw in the top serve on either side that just keeps this down for transporting and we're about to put on hive clamps um, just to keep everything stable while in transit because these things travel with us in the car yeah we've got the bees with us in the car so you want to travel safely it's really difficult dealing with screws while you have gloves on so i'm swapping now to Releasing one hand, it's difficult to pick up the screws. So I'm releasing the one hand. These bees are really calm. However, it just takes one bee to stir up a commotion. And especially when the drill is making a, a noise as well. Yeah, so you get that in place. And then you loosen, give it a few turns again, and then check. That sounds good. Now next one. Okay, so both clamps are on, so just normally take a walk around to make sure it looks like all the gaps are closed. Everything's seating well. Now we've obviously done a bit of work on them, so we're just going to also pull that out, just make sure all the frames are seating nicely. I have already set those um, comb the, the comb to comb formation these frames so that's out the way that's the other thing that you had to do was just to set it because in transit um, you'll have to do it again but otherwise once you install the the new box of flow frames you have to set it to comb formation because they can have gotten out with courier and that type of thing so so go ahead and set them to to comb formation and then you're good to go close everything up i'm gonna Put the roof on now now and then let them go to bed oh, it's getting starting to get dark now so that's that